fun. A lot of fun to have an audience. Uh, it's, uh, it looks really beautiful, guys. The venue. And there is our always fashionable dress. Let's let's go back for a second to the Magnuses game. So now knight f6 is played. Now attacking the. Uh, it's like a shark. I can't fly for black. Yeah, is this called the pawn in the London? Because that's what it sure seems like to me. Well, there it goes. Queen takes b2. Knight jumps out. Obviously, we're threatening the fork to the king in the rook. We keep up the rook. Also, the queen could be left high and dry. So black has to be careful. This queen doesn't get trapped. Knight d5 defends the square c7, but simultaneously attacks uh, the bishop on f4. Very useful to get rid of that bishop, as well as the side set the threat of knight c7. And this is what you were saying. Uh, as you can see, again, uh, a very early draw repetition. MDL said, no, 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 I'm not finished with the deck. Uh, knight f3, and we're up to date with the players. And Jump right in bar and tell us what the theoretically recommended moves are at this point. Uh, one game played in oh, the database, one. yes sir. Yeah, and uh, here uh, Levon has a few options. He can play the move 96 here, and that still will allow White to repeat if he wants to win rook one rook one. So that's one option. Another option he has is to take on d4. So I, I think you know he has to probably choose between these two moves. Uh, I assume it makes no sense for us to go to knight c7 check and take a rook uh, after knight takes f4. Uh, after knight takes f4, let's see. Uh, yeah, just e takes f4 would be nice. It's a position, and still the threat of knight c7 is very strong. So I think it's important to keep the knight on d5 for now, just to control that c7 square here. So the top moves are, as I mentioned, knight a6 in this position, and c takes d4. So there's a very interesting violation after c takes d4. Okay. Then there's a move bishop d3 just trying to catch up. One way or 